Good afternoon everyone. Five minutes back when I left home, it was a bit sunny. And just after five minutes, it feels like it will rain big time. So need to finish up my work fast. Like you guys have already seen in the title, this will be more of an informative video. And any sort of doubts or questions in mind might be clarified in this video. So just stick on. Right now I'm heading out to get a new tank bag. So I already have one in fact, a Rhinox Optimus I believe. That one I took it for the GT and it works absolutely fine. I've gone on multiple trips with the tank bag. In spite of having that, I'm going for another tank bag for the Dark Horse. Because like you guys see, when I try to fit the Optimus tank bag on the Tiger, it doesn't fit well. One, this is a bit big and it's uh, mostly suited for uh, straight tanks like the GT. Like you guys see, it kind of fits perfectly. But when I try to put the same tank bag on the Tiger, it, it doesn't fit. See, it kind of uh, doesn't uh, hook on there or here. It was kind of a hassle uh, every time uh, going uh, back to the top box, opening it. And uh, of course, you can't keep the camera just like that. Uh, you need to keep it inside a bag or something. So then again, I'll have to open the bag then take it out, then again put it back. Uh, so it was kind of a tedious uh, work. So that's when I felt uh, a tank bag is an absolute must. If you want to categorize the tank bags, it comes mainly in three categories. One with the tank lock system, kind of get a clamp or a hook uh, which uh, gets attached to the fuel tank. Or the bikes uh, which have screws like this uh, gets attached there. And behind the tank bag, you kind of get a clamp which uh, gets attached to the clamp here and uh, it usually comes in a quick release system uh, if you just pull a string or something uh, it uh, immediately comes out the tank bag which you guys see the gv1 it uh, kind of uh, fit very nicely in fact i went to a store as well to purchase it but uh, once i saw the alignment after it is uh, hooked up i kind of didn't feel nice main reason being the tiger tank is a bit inclined like this and then goes like this so the bag kind of sits here and uh, once you expand or even if you don't expand it kind of comes up till here so once it comes till here you can't see the meter uh, lift your head to see the speedometer uh, which is kind of a hassle uh, i felt so that is one category another category is called the non-magnetic tank bag so all this uh, rigid uh, non-magnetic tank bag or something that is quite popular so what this does is uh, like you guys see in the video it uh, kind of attaches to multiple points uh, it has a buckle so you can put the buckle through here, uh, fix it on both sides, like you guys see. And then uh, front also you can do the same thing. And here a velcro will be there, wherein you can just attach the tank bag. And whenever you don't need, you can just lift it off. It is kind of a sorted procedure, but then again the added loops, uh, which you guys see, I, it kind of, I felt it kind of will uh, press your thigh. Uh, again, if you're touring and stuff, um, the buckle will, the buckle tends to press your thigh is uh, what I felt. I kind of uh, did research on these two and at last I happened to see the Rhinox Navigator, uh, which is the tank bag I'm uh, currently going to get. What this does is, it is a magnetic system. Like you guys see, it has uh, three magnets, uh, one on top and you get two beside again this is a bit compact just like how i wanted it but it is very easy to mount and unmount you can just remove the magnet pull it towards yourself and then uh, you can refuel and then just stick on the magnet so getting this at almost uh, one sixth of the price of the gv tank bag and again 1500 less than the solace uh, rigid one so this comes at a cost of uh, one triple nine I in fact uh, checked a lot many sites, uh, it's kind of uh, sold out everywhere. Uh, at last I happened to find a store uh, wherein he said it was available. So hence uh, going to get. Just to summarize, if you have a straight tank, uh, go for a bigger uh, tank bag. And if at all you have a curved tank, go for a smaller bag. And again the non-magnetic, magnetic and the hook or the clamp is uh, left up to you guys and again the budget also i think i've kind of uh, broken down uh, all the categories of the tank bag if you guys have any queries or questions uh, please do comment down below i'll try my best to answer you guys so until then i hope you guys like this video and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe until the next video peace out oh nice they've done this completely out of uh, chain bike chain just to give an idea about the size comparison that is the Optimus and this is the Navigator it's almost double the height lengthwise also it's, uh, this is just uh, 3 fourth of uh, this uh, but then uh, main difference is the height and inside uh, 
inside if you look the space is pretty good you get a rain liner as well along with the shoulder strap so the, this is space you get it's uh, pretty neat you get in some pouches here to keep your cards or your headphones pens and stuff you get uh, two side pouches as well pretty good padding i would say and then uh, you get a pouch at last to keep for anything which fits in there <laughs> Yeah, that's about it. It's a nice, uh, neat, small, good-looking bag.